making jalebi. Making jalebi is very very easy. A lot of people think it is difficult. Only a little bit of minor adjustments you need to make to the batter. That's when you can make the jalebi. To make the batter for jalebi, take enough curd. Take 100 grams of maida and 30 grams of corn flour. Add food color if you desire and uh, mix without any lumps. Add 1 tablespoon of hot oil and mix it again. And uh, let it ferment for 24 hours. Just the same temperature as you set yogurt. This batter when you remove it after 24 hours it may not increase double in size. But you will see this fermented smell of this jalebi batter. When the next day you remove this batter, just keep beating it the way I showed you how to beat this uh, vada mixture. Just keep mixing it and make the consistency in such a way. When you take this batter and pour it from the top, it should fall as a single thread. That's when this batter is good to make jalebi. In making of the jalebi, the thing that holds the jalebi is maida, whereas the structure and the crispiness is given by corn flour. So keep adjusting either one of them till you get the right consistency of your jalebis. You can use a ziplock bag as I did it. In fact, you should see my video on how to make jangri in which I showed how to make a nice hole for your ziplock bag. And also, understanding the right temperature to fry this jalebi is very important. If you fry the same batter of jalebi in a low heat, it will become flat. Whereas if you put it in high heat, it will break into pieces. So. Keep trying and you will find a temperature where these jalebis will puff up nicely and you will be able to fry them easily. So the two important points, one is the consistency of the batter, the second thing is the temperature at what you fry these jalebis. It is, the temperature is between low to medium heat, that's what temperature you need to fry these jalebis. To make sugar syrup, add very little water to the sugar and make it to one string consistency the same way we did it for gulab jamun. One string consistency when it is cold. What is one string consistency is, once you put the sugar syrup in your hand and uh, lift it up, there will be a string like thing that comes. This is what single thread consistency is. Take the batter, let it fry in a low heat. That's when you will get the even texture and also you will get a nice crispy outside and soft inside. Now you can see that there is a slight golden color but do not brown it much, just slightly colored and that's when your jalebi will be ready. Some people love red jalebi but I like to add a little bit of saffron color and I want them to be nicely golden. But you can add the color you want if you are crazy you, know, you can even try green. Just take it, put it in the sugar syrup, just make enough sugar syrup so that you coat this jalebi less than a minute then remove it off. You can also make small jalebi. If you are new to it, just make small jalebis first. Even you can use a fork for very easy turning of the small uh, jalebis. I used to have a singh as a friend when I was working in Rajputana Palace in Jaipur. This guy, whenever the halwa used to make these jalebis, he used to bring a glass of milk and he used to dip these jalebis and eat. For a good jalebi, it should be slightly crispy on outside and when you see through it, it should be a small hole in it. That's where the juice of this uh, sugar mixture will stay in. 